Okay, hi, this is uh, Jim from CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to punch down um, an RJ11 uh, telephone jack. Uh, you get your wire cutters, many different types of wire cutters, doesn't matter which ones you use. And uh, now what I do is I take the string back now up here when you do your wire cutter you often nick those cables so I'm going to cut those off I don't want to use nicked cables they tend to break they tend to be a problem it's not worth the time for an inch or two inch of cables and I cut off the excess I look for my blue pair. Uh, this is a six position jack. We're going to cable it for RJ11, which is standard for basic telephone systems, answering machines, fax machines today. So I need my, my blue white and white blue pair. And that's the first pair. If you followed my other videos, you would have known that's the first pair. Go with the color code here blue, blue white there. So it's the end there. You don't have to worry too much about the twists um, on an RJ11 uh, because only it doesn't affect it that much. It's not like computer or cable where the twists, you have to watch your twists, make sure you maintain them. Um, now, once you put the wires in the slots and there's little metal things in there, sort of like a V, what happens is, is the wire gets pushed down with the punch down cable and cut off right here. But as it gets pushed down, these two wires here will actually strip away the installation and um, uh, attach it. So I'm going to take my 110 uh, punch down blade and I'm going to take it right there. Now you notice it cut it cleanly because I used the cut side and you can see the cut side on the 110. Now I'm going to cut the other side, or punch down the other side, and that's how you would wire for an RJ11. Six conductors in there, you only need the two center pins, and that's the blue pair uh, for telephone, fax machines, things like that. Um, and then what you do is you take your, your keystone face plate, and you would uh, install the uh, jack in the face plate and rather than wiggle you have to cut that portion out okay yeah I'll just I'll just edit it okay um, and it ends up with a nice smooth uh, thing once it's pushed in again don't cut your other wires because you could always add other RJ11 six position jacks uh, to that location. And uh, you can also feel free to use this little cap. Little cap fits on the back. Snaps in, keeps things in place. I don't always use it, it's not necessary. Um, and um, remember when you do uh, put in the jack that the conductors have to be on the top side of the jack to keep the dust and dirt off them. Again, my name is Jim from CableSupply.com and please remember that we do these educational videos to help you. So please help us by buying the parts through our website. We keep them as low as possible. Um, the top quality products as low as possible. We actually make our profit based on volume. So thank you today for watching our video and hope you, had a, uh, you enjoyed it. Uh, www.cablesupply.com